All right, so I took a little break. I'm back now, and what I'd like to do is I'd like to talk with people who are in the chat, okay, and see what they'd like to talk about. But basically what I've been doing, I've been searching for uh, competitors to Comcast Internet. <clears throat> so let me tell everyone. Okay, everyone. So I've been searching for competitors to Comcast Internet in case we have to swap. I basically saw a few options. There are two satellite internet, but one is apparently very slow. <clears throat> and the other is Starlink, and I don't know if Starlink offers unlimited internet or not. A lot of these companies only offer a certain amount and then they throttle you. And I cannot operate my business if I'm getting throttled constantly. <clears throat> okay. Starlink is unlimited with no throttle, says Grimace. Meatball Man says, I had Starlink in a rural area. It had heavy data caps and slow speeds. Tuh. <laughs> Battledick says, from what I saw, the residential one is one terabyte of data. What does that mean? Well, I'd be getting the business plan. Not sure how different that is. I was looking it up, but I didn't see specifics. Said I should do a consultation. Andy says, Starlink does offer unlimited. I had a look. It's probably the business plan, just like with Comcast. The only way that I could get unlimited internet with Comcast was the business plan. It was literally the only one they would offer. <clears throat> Demolition Daddy says, satellite, satellite internet is horrible for gaming. Sadly, I'm so I'm looking. And basically what it says is, there's Comcast, no crap, Hughes Network, and I looked into it, that's the other satellite company, and they're insanely slow, Lumen Technologies, which claims that they're available, and I looked into it, and then it says it's not available, which I don't get. It's called Lumen Technologies, Inc. <clears throat> so I clicked, you know, on it, and I did their, their location search or whatever, <clears throat> and... For whatever reason, here, Lumen Technologies Internet. So I click on it, right? And, of course, first thing it does, it gives me uh, T-Mobile, which isn't what I want. Internet services from Lumen. So then I click on it. And here it is. I say product. Dedicated internet access, right? Here, request a quote. Oh, this is going to be contact an expert. See, I don't want that. I just want to see, is it available in the area? They claim it's fast, but I don't think it's here. Like, this is the problem. I keep telling everyone. The only fast internet... In my area. So let me tell everyone in chat what I'm doing. FYI, I'm looking up Lumen Internet 
services right now, which an FCC search said is available. F FYI, <clears throat> it says number one in speed is Comcast. Then it's either, then it's Hughes Network, which is slow satellite internet. Lumen Technologies, which is standard cable, but I can't seem to find it. I can't seem to. I can't seem to confirm it's here. And then Starlink, and then just cell phone services that are too slow. So, yeah, so number one in speed supposedly is Comcast, which you all know. That's why I got it when I moved out here. And then the competitors are Hughes Network. That's a satellite internet company. I looked into it, but apparently it says here the speeds are slow. Like 25 megabytes per second download. That's way too slow, right? <clears throat> and uh, same thing, three megabyte upload. Way too slow, right? Um, Lumen Technologies, they claim they're copper. So they're not cable, they're copper, whatever that means. 140 megabytes download, 20 up. But when I search for it, it doesn't, like, say it's here. Which is weird because the FCC website says it's here. When I look for it. But when I look for Because there's an FCC site that actually says, here's the offers of internet in your area. It's supposed to be like a hub to tell you. And it claims the coverage is available. But when I go to the Lumen website, it's not available. So I honestly don't know what the hell they're talking about. I'm like, I'm looking at my, like, I don't, I don't know what they mean. Um, <clears throat> it's very confusing, honestly, that they think that that Lumen is available here when it's not. And then it says, uh, like I said, Starlink and T-Mobile are like the other two. I cannot hear. I cannot stream from my phone because my hotspot internet is incredibly limited. The plan runs out after so little data. Yeah. By the way, I will try to stream again periodically. I'll just wait a bit and chat with you here in the meantime. <clears throat> so... Sadly, see here what I, what I was thinking. You know, Starlink could be viable, and Starlink, of course, did not exist nine and a half years ago when I moved here. They just they weren't here; it didn't exist. The problem with Starlink is a couple things. So, number one, from what I'm to understand, okay, uh, what I'm seeing is if you get their residential plan, they have caps, okay. So you get the business plan, which is more expensive. But two things: number one. The, you have to install the equipment. So they expect me to buy the equipment, which is like seven dollars $800, the, the satellite. You have to buy it outright. And then they expect you to crawl out on your rooftop and install this satellite yourself, which is pretty insane when you really think about it. Like, I'm not a tech. I, I don't know how I would do that. You know, maybe uh, what I could do is find someone who's a, a professional installer out in the area or whatever. You know what I mean? Maybe I could, in that regard, get get someone to do it. I don't know. Um, but, you know. So, by the way, I'm going to screen capture this. This way I have these uh, 
recorded here. Okay. There we go. So, um, close everything up here. Yeah, so it seems like, so, so I'm looking into Starlink, and it seems like there would be two issues. The first is you have to buy the equipment, satellite dish, outright yourself, and then install it yourself. Now, I'm sure maybe I could find someone to do it for for money but still that's kind of risky since it's an $800 investment it is eight that's right I forgot to mention that <clears throat> it's $800 to buy the satellite dish equipment and have them send it to your house you know uh it's pretty nuts to think about that. That would be eight hundred dollars just to get. They don't. They don't, see with with these other companies. You can either buy your own modem, and the modem costs like two, three hundred dollars, a good one, or you can get their own and you rent it. You pay them a fee in order to actually lease the modem. Essentially, that's what you're doing. You're leasing it, and so they make a lot of money on that. They make a ton of leasing money from people um, for using their modems. Now, obviously, um, with you know. Ideally, you want your own equipment, but I've never really bothered with that until today. Today, I tried my own modem, and they're still resetting it. So obviously, even buying your own equipment won't stop my problems with Comcast. But in regards to um, Starlink, they force you to buy. You have to buy the satellite. They don't let you lease it or whatever. Uh, they absolutely make you buy that equipment, okay? Then you have to install it yourself unless you pay someone. So that's more money. So you're talking probably like you know, a thousand bucks just to get the equipment bought and installed and then who knows what the quality is because for what I'm to understand um, basically all that it is is you know, it, it depends on your connection to the sky alright so if I have a clear view of the sky which I do from my home there's no trees or anything above it it's just right to the sky but you know clouds and stuff I'm sure um, you know there's not much I can do about it uh, you know I, it would if it's, if it's bad it's bad and if it's not good enough to stream about a thousand bucks. Essentially, that's the thing. Like, you could get it and then cancel it. But what if I spend a thousand dollars? I get it all set up. I go to do it, and it's just slow as dirt, right? So here's the thing about Starlink. I can get a business plan that may or may not be unlimited. Not sure yet. And it claims fast speeds. But one, it would mean something like a $1,000 investment in equipment and installing it which you have to pay for yourself and two if it's <clears throat> if it is slow I'm out that one thousand dollars basically <laughs> right outside of Starlink there I don't see outside of Starlink I don't see any competitors to Comcast at all except for for cell phone internet yeah Lucky Gremlin says it's all data there's no unlimited <laughs> Google streaming with Starlink and see what comes up. Oh yeah, what is it? Horror stories? I'm curious. Let's see. I don't see anything good. Like, there's no good links or anything. P. 
PC Mag ranked it. Let's see. PC Mag. Here. So it looks like PC Mag ranked rated Starlink and I'm reading the article right now. So let's see. Is Starlink Internet good for gaming? This guy was in I rural Idaho. I'm not in rural Idaho. You know, I'm not way out of nowhere, but I, I do have a clear view of the night sky. So let's see here. It says deliver speeds from 50 to 200 megabytes per second and almost anywhere on Earth. And it's enormously popular in rural areas. You bet gamers are interested. So let's see. Stupid fucking pop up as I'm trying to read the article. Upload speeds measured low, mostly below 10 megabytes per second, rarely exceeding 20. Those lower upload speeds may not be a problem, but they can be a roadblock to enjoying more competitive, fast paced online games like a first person shooter. <clears throat> then ping rate. While Starlink promises a latency of 20 to 40 milliseconds, most of our data fell between 40 to 50. It would sometimes creep up to 100 milliseconds or more. The 20 millisecond latency that's advertised should be viewed as more of a best case scenario. So it means you're going to get bad pings. Anything under 50 is considered fast enough for, for gaming. You say that now, but I play games like Call of Duty and Street Fighter, you know, 30, 40 ping, it's bad. Like Call of Duty, the, the best, of course, the best connections are like in the teens, and then it pretty, feels pretty good. When you're in the 30s and stuff, it ends up being so laggy. It really does. <clears throat> Of course, games work without any problems after downloading. What the? <sighs> no kidding. Online games are the different beast. Valorant Rainbow Six Siege. Gameplay is usually smooth. Fortnite was also fine. So basically, it was between 30 and 60 milliseconds. Unfortunately, consistency remains an issue. The occasional drop connection, a few instances where performance dips so low, it might as well have dropped. Some disruptions are simply unavoidable. The dish has to move from one satellite to another to reacquire the signal. They're less of a problem in slower games, of course. Could you play cloud games on Starlink? I'm going to guess no. Yeah, so basically it says it works, but it could be it could be finicky and not necessarily consistent. And my problem would likely be the upload speeds. Okay, so let's see here. Okay, so I just read up on the entire PC Mag article on Starlink. Basically, it works, but it's finicky and not consistent. It can drop out big time. <clears throat> By the way, I'm going to click stream and see what happens. Likely, the person's going to shut down the stream again. We'll see. So yeah, so basically, it could drop. It could. It could drop big time. Also, the upload. Speeds are between 10 to 20 megabytes per second, which likely would not be good enough for my quality right now. I'd have to suffer video quality. Yeah. Which would suck. Right? Yeah. So, by the way, thank you. Little Shake and Bake had done a few super chats here and I just want to get them on the leaderboard 
because he did do a few super chats. And again, I want to say Fever Dream uh, had also done a $15 tip earlier, and I wanted to shout that out to let Fever Dream know that I appreciate that. Um, obviously, with this insanity of the internet today, you guys probably didn't hear those shout outs. Um, what I'm doing right now is I'm talking with people in the chat to see about options for other internet, and it's not good. Basically, the problem is that there is no good competitors out here to Comcast. The best is Starlink, and Starlink is incredibly finicky, wonky, not consistent, and can have a connection that goes like this, um, and, for, and particularly for streaming, probably not good. Like, just playing a game, it might be all right, but imagine playing the game and then trying to stream the game at the same time on the same Starlink connection, probably not good. Even says it fluctuates between 10 and 20 megabytes per second quality, um, and that's a big problem. Like, that's a huge problem, because if I'm doing 10 megabytes per second stream okay that's great but the moment i turn on a game and that's also trying to send packets of data that's it like i think it won't work it seems like it won't work to me um at least from what what they're saying now their cellular plans there's a couple companies that offer that out here but i have no idea whatsoever if those would work in my home you know what i mean i just don't know Like, when we were doing, um, we were tethering, for that day a month ago, that everything was screwed up and we couldn't figure out how to get it working, um, we were tethering our Fire TV stick to a phone and, and watching TV overnight on the phone or whatever. And basically it worked, but it wasn't as good. Like, it was, you could tell it was jumping, it was getting, it was getting fuzzy, so it certainly wasn't a great connection. You know what I mean? Um... So I don't know. I, it seems to me like, sadly, there just aren't very, any really good, uh, effective competitors to uh, Comcast, you know, when it comes to this. So, <clears throat> to... so I don't know. It seems like I don't really have any options, right? <clears throat> At all. And by the way, as you know, as I said, I've been streaming now since, what, 11? It's now 2. Nothing from Comcast. Zero. I haven't received an email. I have not received a phone call. I have not received a voicemail. I've gotten nothing from Comcast whatsoever today. Nothing. You would think they would have reached out and said, hey, so just so you know, we're working on this. You know, we care about it, and, you know, we care about your security. But, uh, I got nothing, right? <clears throat> it's not a DDoS attack. DD the, the, the DDoS attack, all right, someone is sending packets of data to your, your internet uh, address, your IP address, okay? They know your IP address, and they're attacking your IP address with data, and it knocks you off the internet, and then your modem basically has to reboot or whatever, recalibrate, and then it's better again. These are not DDoS attacks. Someone is in the modem, and someone is in my account at Comcast. Someone has access to that. It's completely different. You see? Andy Young says you, you buy a 4G router that works like a normal router with a 4G data sim, which removes the hotspot issue. You mean what I'm doing right now? Like, literally, what I'm talking to you guys right now in chat, this is on my 4G modem hotspot. It's slow as dirt. I told you, it took 16 hours for me to download Alan Wake 2. I can't stream on that thing. That thing is incredibly slow. There is no, absolutely no possible way I would be able to stream uh, on that, that 4G modem. It's too slow. And, you know, that's even what the guy said when he installed it. He's like, no, this is just a backup device. It's meant for point-of-sale transactions. Like, if you were running a business and you were checking people out and your internet went down, you connect to this backup device. And, basically, uh, this would give you backup internet for a temporary amount of time so that you could do your transactions and keep going. So your business doesn't just shut down. But it's not meant for the same speeds as your standard internet. And that's what I mean. Like, I have it. I literally have that right now. You know? Oh, I don't know what the advertised speeds are for Comcast. I have no idea what my limits are. I want to say I'm like a, a 500 
megabyte per second download and probably like a 30 megabyte per second upload, but I probably don't have that. I probably have like a variation of that. The download for me doesn't matter. The download to me is completely, doesn't matter at all, right? It doesn't. And for me, it's the upload. It's the upload that's the problem because I need to stream and sometimes play a game at the same time, right? So, for example, with Starlink, I think that would be the problem. Every once in a while, if Starlink fluctuates and whatever, not a big deal. But for me, the major concern is having a limit of like 10 megabytes per second. How am I going to stream at 10 megabytes per second? Right now, I'm streaming it above that. Right now, I'm streaming at, at uh, 12,000. Yeah. So that's the quality I stream at, around 12,000. So the 10 is not good enough, you know? Ellipsian says, Starlink during cloudy and rainy days is like goodbye internet, and we have clouds and rain a lot. Yes, we do. So really, I mean, really then, I have two options. Stay with Comcast and put up with this for as long as it lasts, right? And have to adjust my life and schedule around it. Um, or, may, I guess, go with, like, try to get a cellular internet. But I don't know how fast that's going to be. I don't know. I know there's ones that are available. I think there's there's T-Mobile, there's Verizon. You know, I think there's a few different ones available. Hold on a second. Actually, I have I have no idea what service that one is. It is a cellular service, but I don't know uh, what that what that service is <laughs> of that one that I even have. But seriously, like it, it seems to me like I have no options. Like I'm stuck. Uh, <clears throat> I'm stuck in a situation where I have to use Comcast. It seems like that anyway. We just looked for everything. No AT&T, none of this. No CenturyLink, no Spectrum, no Lumen Technologies. Like, I'm looking for everything, and nothing seems, no, no competitors seem available in my area. <clears throat> yeah. Jade, I, I, I see you, man. I hear you. This sucks because Jade Watch wants to chill and enjoy games with me. Like, I, I know. I just want to chill and enjoy games with you guys, you know? It sucks that I can't right now because this is, the stream will keep going down, you know? At any moment, it could happen again. So, okay, here's what I wanted to say to you guys before. Um, basically, uh, the ideas that people were having. The idea is that during the daytime, I'll play narrative-based games like Mario RPG or Like a Dragon Gaiden or RoboCop. And if it, I have a day where it's smooth and I can stream, great. And if not, then I just record and I upload to YouTube. The problem is those days that those streams aren't working, I'll still try. But those days that the streams aren't working, you know I'm going to lose revenue. Like, I can't – how am I going to make up for that? Days, Entire days I can't stream because of this nonsense going on. Now, the other thing is, uh, for some reason, this only affects me certain days. Like, wasn't it weird that it happened the Wednesday before Thanksgiving but not on Thanksgiving – not on Black Friday when I was doing marathon events where I would where you know it would have hurt me worse. Um, it happened the day before, and then it only happened again yesterday and today. It's like this person works a certain shift at Comcast, like they're going into work. Okay, I'm limited to these hours. These are the hours that I can mess with Phil, but then they can't do it outside of those hours. That's what it seems like. Like for example, yesterday they did it all day. Why didn't they do it last night during the Modern Warfare Three stream? I I did played two and a half hours of Modern Warfare Three unhindered last night. So why didn't they mess with me during that time, right? <clears throat> so I don't get it. It seem, Again, it seems like this person is limited to the times that they have their access. Meaning, yeah, it seems like an employee that goes to work, <clears throat> has a shift, can only access stuff during that shift, right? And, and can only mess with me during those shifts. I could be wrong, but that's what it seems like, you know? I don't know. I, you know, there's no way to tell. Fed Roger, why on earth would you listen to anything someone said in the chat? 
He's being stupid. Oh, but someone said that, that all these employees are working from home. Okay, of course they are. You believe that. Go for it. <laughs> you believe that. <clears throat> you believe everything someone says to you, huh? So... So anyway, yeah, to re some people are just joining the stream. To recap, from what I explained two and a half hours ago, we have solid evidence that it is an employee at Comcast that doesn't like me and is logging into my modem and doing messed up stuff. Now that I bought a new modem that's not the Comcast modem, but they still have the ability to reset it whenever they want. So they just hit the reset button. They also went into my Comcast account and did a payment that I didn't authorize against the account, taking my money without authorization, which is fraud and completely illegal. Um, and they changed all of my information in the Comcast account to other stuff. Um, so that's all completely 100% not allowed. That's identity theft and fraud, what he did. Okay? So that's what's been going on. It hasn't been, oh, I have you know, problems with my internet and the lines or whatever. I'm not getting DDoSed because it's a completely different process. It's actual, we have evidence that an employee is using employee login to go in and doing these things. How else would an employee have gotten into the other account and messed with my payment and stuff, right? Because it's an employee that has access to that. So <clears throat> just to get everyone recapped, uh, I contacted Comcast yesterday. I was on the phone for almost three hours with them. I now have a, 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 a claim in with the fraud department. Like I have an official ticket number. I have a ticket number in with the, uh, what you call it, the um, tech department, so they're supposed to be looking into it. And I have three voicemails that I left with the regional tech manager. I received no calls back and no updates today whatsoever. And my internet has been knocked out probably about two dozen times so far. If you haven't noticed, that's why the stream has been up and down, up and down, because that person's just sitting there, and then when they have a chance, they hit reset. You know. So the reason that I, I did this publicly today, very simply, is because I had to. Um, I didn't want to, but I've done everything I can do in my power. I've kept it under wraps for over a month because we first were made aware of this back in October. Um, the tech found this information in late October. Supposedly, they were doing an investigation to look into it. Obviously, they didn't because it's a month later. It's still happening. And uh, at this point... There's nothing else I can really do. Like, I bought a new modem off Amazon. I replaced the Comcast modem with my own. So now they can't mess with the settings, but what they can do is just hit reset all day. Like this, reset, reset, reset. And that's what they've been doing. So I, there's there's nothing I can do. I'm just stuck here. And, you know, this sucks because this, this is my livelihood. This isn't like the old days where I could just sit here and do all offline videos and upload them to YouTube and make a living. The vast majority of my income comes in during live streams, right? I don't make much ad revenue. And people watching the on-demand videos, they just don't support, you know, those on-demand videos in the same way as streamer, the street, the people on the streams, you know. So I don't know what else I can do. We we've been looking into alternative ISPs. It doesn't seem like any of them are viable. It seems like I have two options. Well, three options. Number one, stay with Comcast and just try to completely change my life around, which we'll talk about, I guess, in a second. Number two, uh, use Starlink, but Starlink sounds so finicky that it doesn't work consistently. Or number three, try one of these cell phone internet companies, which probably isn't good enough. You know, I have a 4G modem right now that I have plugged into here so I could chat with you guys. Even if the internet goes down on the stream, I could still talk with you guys. All right. So I have that. And... In addition to that, I, I used that a month ago to download Alan Wake 2. And like I said, so Alan Wake 2 was like 60, 70 gigs, something like that. It took 12 hours to download it. So that's how slow it is. It's insanely slow speeds. It, it went down to like below one megabyte per second. And then it would jump up to like 20. Then it would go down to two. Then it would go up to like 15. Then it would go down to one again. It's so finicky and not consistent, right? So... I don't know what to do in this case, right? So yeah, so anyway, what I was saying earlier, and then the internet kept getting interrupted, watch it get interrupted again now as I say this, there, the option right now may be that daytime streams moving forward will be all offline style playthroughs. So Super Mario RPG, Like a Dragon Gaiden, uh, Robocop, and Avatar will be day streams. Night streams will be exclusively multiplayer. So Street Fighter 6, Modern Warfare 3. Now I know that sucks because the multiplayer games are the ones, like for example, Modern Warfare 3 has been doing really well as a daytime stream. But if this guy's going to sit around 
and going to just turn off my internet all day, then I can't play multiplayer games during the day. So far, he hasn't, this person, I say he, but it might not be a he, it could be a she, who knows. It, they could be doing it, at, they haven't done it at night once, okay? Not once. So I'm curious, do they only have access to this account or whatever during the day, right? Are they sitting at work and they only work a shift? And it's that shift where they have the access to the stuff and they can only do it during certain times of the day. Because the, again, the weird part about that is if this was really, if they had unlimited access, why didn't they shut it down during the Thanksgiving event? Why didn't they shut down the Adpocalypse Marathon? Why don't they shut it down at certain times when they know that those are better days for me? It doesn't make sense. It seems like they only have access during certain days. And the red flag here is they turned it off on a Wednesday on my day off. Almost like, oh, we'll get him before Thanksgiving because I won't be there on Thanksgiving to do it. So I'll do it the day before and hopefully he doesn't notice or something, right? So that's what I mean. So in that regard, um, it seems to me like uh, they only have access at certain times, but I could be wrong. They very well tonight, when I go to play Street Fighter Six on my late stream tonight, which I am going to try to do, they very well could shut down that stream. And if they do, then then instead, maybe we'll just do Like a Dragon Gaiden, and I'll just keep trying to start the stream up, and I'll just play it offline. I'll talk with you guys in the chat or whatever, right? <clears throat> I guess we'll see. But the reason I did this stream today, that hour long before, was to try to get attention from people on the internet. I'm sure... Everyone who watches my streams and restreams them and everything is going to talk about this now. So you're going to have the talking head people on YouTube talking about this. And hopefully this will get enough attention that Comcast will get off their lazy butts and do something about it. Because they knew about it a month ago and no one did anything. And now here we are a month later and I can't consistently work because of them. They knew about the issue a month ago, right? So, and now we have the concrete evidence that it is an employee. They have access to the modem. They have access to my account. They're making payments in my name. It's ridiculous. So something has to happen here, right? Lucky Gremlin, that's the thing. He says, you should be on the phone all day with them. And do what? I was on the phone with them three hours yesterday. As soon as, as remember, I was having the issues during the stream. I said, I got to go. I got on the phone three hours. What happened? Right? They filed tickets. Because I'm not talking with people who can make things happen. I'm talking with line-level people. Imagine if you're a line-level employee at Comcast. All you have is access to basic stuff. You can file a claim. You can reset a modem. You can do basic stuff. You can't do anything advanced. Your hands are tied. This has to go to someone who has power to fix a problem. And the line-level employees at Comcast can't really do that. You know? For me, at Comcast, it's always been, if there's an issue, they get a tech come out to your house. That's literally what it's always been. It's been, have a tech come out to your house. Have a tech come out to your house. Right? Okay, that's great. I had a tech come out to my house. Right? Didn't do anything a month ago. Nothing changed. They said they were going to look into it. Apparently, they didn't. Um, you can't ask for a manager. I've tried, and they don't, there's no manager. They say, I'm sorry, there's no manager for me to transfer you to. That doesn't exist. What I can do is file the, your, what you're saying and escalate it, and someone else will take it from there. And that's it. That's all you can do. There's literally no proper escalation process. Like if you're unsatisfied with the customer service, I want to talk to your manager. There is no manager. There's literally no manager to talk to. Yeah, it sucks. It's a stupid, a stupid system for sure, but that's how it is. Yeah, this is, I mean, so, so sadly, you know, I'm glad, I'm glad that we're doing this because together we're talking through it to try to figure it out. The immediate situation seems to be day streams will have to be offline games, so it sucks because like I was supposed to be Modern Warfare 3 tomorrow. I guess I can't because if the internet keeps going off, I can't play a multiplayer game, <clears throat> right? So it seems like, uh, <clears throat> I just have to kind of deal with it, right? I just kind of have to deal with it, um and put up with it for now uh, and see what happens and do offline gameplay. If the streams keep going down, they go down. Some days they will, some days they won't. And nice will be multiplayer and hopefully this doesn't happen at night. Now, by the way, my wife's coming home. I'm going to get Jasper out of here. I'll be right back. I'm just going to mute the mic and I'll be back in a, a couple minutes and we'll continue. Okay? Okay. <clears throat>
Okay, I'm back. I had to tell my... Obviously, I had to tell my wife the story of what's going on, and she wanted to know what the hell was going on, so I told her. And, of course, she's pissed. <laughs> right? Like, of course, she's pissed off. Um, You know? Obviously. So... I mean, I had to, you know, sorry I was gone for like 10 minutes. I was expecting like two minutes, but then, of course, she wanted to hear the story. So, uh, a couple shout-outs. Let's see here. Two last names did a super chat. I know someone who impersonated a customer at work is facing federal charge. Impersonated a customer at work. What does that mean? And is facing federal charges. Make sure to contact authorities. A lawyer would love this. You may find yourself with a good settlement. Yeah, but again... That's not my solution. My solution now is to get this fixed, correct? That's the solution. How do I get it fixed, right? <clears throat> not, oh, <laughs> let's, let's rush to lawyers and see what I can milk out of the situation. That's not the situation. You know, I need to keep using Comcast. I have to keep using Comcast because it looks like there's no viable alternatives for internet out here, right? Ross Prate, thank you for re-upping your membership for 14 months. So sorry for what's going on. I won't stop. It won't stop us from watching. I appreciate that. I really do appreciate that because you know I can't fix this. You know I have no ability to fix this problem. Obviously, this has nothing to do with me, right? Um, uh, you know, it's nothing on my end that I can fix. It's something 100% on Comcast end to investigate and fix. And the fact that they are staying radio silent and literally they have not had a single person reach out to me and say, okay, so just so you know, we're handling this for you today. You know, we're taking care of it. We're taking this seriously. We're sorry this is happening and here's how we're going to fix it. You know, it's pretty ridiculous. They're not going to, they're not going to do that. So far, nothing. You know, I've been waiting all day. I'm not getting emails. I'm not getting nothing, nothing from them. You know, to <clears throat> <laughs> I'm reading an email by the way hold on it's not from Comcast it's from someone else trying to help So someone is under the impression, this is interesting, someone is under the impression um, that it could be social engineering, that it could definitely be a person who's doing it over and over, like a, a person who works there, but someone's in the impression that it's social engineering, right? That someone is impersonating me over and over and over and somehow has gotten enough basic information about me that they figured something out like uh i don't know like an, a question to verify my identity or something like that um i let me put it this way i certainly would not say that is not possible i would just say that like the frequency that it's happening and the level of stuff that's happening Okay, seems like that's not likely. If if this happened a few times, right? Um, or, for example, um, for example, let's say someone called in and said, you know, this or that. But the thing is, like that payment was sent a five hundred dollar payment. By the way, I forgot to tell you guys how much it was five hundred dollars. They sent a $500 payment. Guess what? I don't owe Comcast $500. So they sent Comcast a $500 payment. Um, and you would think that someone would be really stupid to just send $500. Like, I don't know how you could you even do that as a phone payment. 
right? They're supposed to be able to figure it out. Like, they're supposed to be able to see, like, who did it. But, look, okay, let me, let me clarify to try to say this again in a better way, all right? With the way that today, you saw how today it was just, like, constant, right? Constant, reset, 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 reset. It was happening over and over on the stream today. Like, literally over and over and over. That feels to me like that's someone who has unlimited access, right? It would have been something if every once in a while the stream resets. Every once in a while. Because then, you know, you called in. You faked being me or whatever. But the thing is, by the way, and I should say this too, um, I will say this, that in regards to this situation, um, there's supposed to be logs of any kind of a customer uh, situation. For example, last night I got my new cable modem and I needed to get it set up with Comcast so that I could get internet with it. If I don't, if I didn't call Comcast and give them the information off the modem, it doesn't work with Comcast internet. So I had to do that. So when I did that, they created a ticket. The ticket showed someone called in, requested that this modem be added to the account. We added it. We did it. Done. You know, like all that's e easily readily available um, in the account. And there is absolutely nothing like that. There is no, oh, you know, this is a situation, you know, look at all of these, uh, look at all of these requests that we got to do this today or anything like that, you know, like none of that is there. I'm actually looking right now. I'm going to take a look. I'm trying to find the tickets because I'm in the app and I don't know in the app where the hell they are. Ugh. Stupid. <laughs> yeah, I don't know in the app where it is. There's a place in the app where you can go, all right, and it'll say things on there, right? <clears throat> yeah. You can go in there and you can see the history of logs and stuff that have been set. curious here and again it does seem weird that to me that it's that it seems like they have limited access do you know what I'm saying they don't have unlimited access to everything Yeah, see, I have to do this. <laughs> Hold on. They have limited access. They're not just doing it nonstop. Like I said, last night, the entire night, I streamed uh, Modern Warfare 3, and it didn't happen. So it's not like they, this kind of a person. I don't think they're just getting bored. I think that they have limited access. There's limited times when they apparently can be doing this malicious activity against me. You know what I'm saying? Like, it seems like it is someone going into a shift. Uh... Hold on. I'm almost done. <clears throat> okay.
I just taking too long. This is I'm on the stream. I should do this later. <laughs> I wanted to check to see if there was any logs. I don't. I really don't believe that there is anyone who is um that there is anyone who is calling in and doing the social engineering to this level. That I don't believe that. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> I got it. It just showed up. Okay. Let's see if this worked. Okay, so it did log in. Okay, so now that it logged in, can I see if there's any call logs or anything from today? Because you're supposed to be able to see that. Okay. I don't think there will be. And by the way, for the record, um, hold on. Although they are changing basic data in the account, they are unable to change other important stuff. Like, for example, they can change, like I showed you earlier, they can change the email address associated with the account. They can change the name of the person on the account, but they can't change the password <clears throat> on the account. That's not possible, you see? No, see it says there were two support tickets and they're both closed. Yep. It says there were two support tickets, both closed. And neither of them are in regards to any kind of social engineering at all. <clears throat> like taking a look. One was me setting up the modem last night. And one was me filing the claim for the the, or the payment that I didn't authorize, which is which you know they they dealt dealt with yesterday. So yeah, it's definitely it's not that at all. You see, and there's no other. They were there, if there were calls or if someone was social engineering, it would have <clears throat> all of that listed here, and it has none of that. It's like I said, it's it only shows those two. That's it. Um. So yeah, I don't I as much as I like to feel okay, maybe someone's being fooled. Maybe it is social engineering or whatever. I hate to say it, I don't think it is. Cuz again, there seems to be limited times and access when this is being done. It seems like they only can can do certain things, they can't do others. There's no logs that they're fooling people like there would be a log for that. And there's no log for that. <laughs> for example, here's a perfect example actually. I just I just thought of this now. I don't know why I didn't think of it earlier. If someone had called in and said, I want to issue a payment from this phone call, that would have been a log in the account that would have said, here is the logged payment. Do you understand? You see what I mean? Like that, it would have said that. It would have said, this is the, you know, th here it is. So-and-so took the call, put in the ticket, making the payment. Here's the payment log. And there's nothing like that in there at all. You see? <clears throat> yeah. Nathan, thank you for gifting a membership. It went to Leonaris. Congratulations to Leonaris on the gifted membership. I appreciate that very much. And uh, Leonaris, be sure to thank Nathan. Thank you, Nathan, for supporting.
Cypress says, most people who, who work at Comcast are out the door at this time on the East Coast. That would explain why they haven't messed with you in the last hour. Employees leave between 5 and 6. It could be. And again, they never mess with me at night. Like, it hasn't happened at night. Maybe, maybe now that I said that, if it happens tonight, that's another wrinkle, right? But it has not happened uh, at night at all on late streams. It has only happened um, during daytime streams. It only seems to happen on weekdays. I've never seen it like happen on a weekend, right? It didn't happen during the Thanksgiving marathon or the Black Friday marathon, <clears throat> which is very odd, right? Why would it not happen during the big events that he knew people would, or he or she knew would, would be coming to and supporting, right? So I don't believe, I don't believe it's social engineering maybe it is maybe it's a crazy situation where they're finding a way around issuing logs in the thing for these things happening i don't believe that i do actually believe that this is someone um you know maliciously messing with me uh that works at the company it sure seems that way does it not right does it not exactly maybe he's not working those days who I don't, uh, normal employees aren't going to be working on Thanksgiving. They're not going to be working on Black Friday. They're gonna; those are the days off. That's a long weekend. They have a skeleton crew, right? Shout out to Sweets who re-upped their membership for 13 months. As we're always here for you, always. Thank you very much, Sweets. You know what I should do? I should split the part. This has been a very weird day, for sure. Um, but I do need to split the part, so I'll just split this. I'm going to keep recording. I'm here for another hour before I go on break for dinner. I know I did zero, no podcast today, no. Uh, gaming content yet. My intention is to have a gaming stream on the late stream tonight. I hope I can. Alright. We'll see what happens. Alright, let's split the part and I'll come right back. <laughs> 